So I don't really like wearing too much makeup for every day. I pretty much like to keep it really simple. So I love using the Milk Makeup Blur Stick to keep my face matte because I got some oily skin. So I just go over my skin like this and you can see like immediately, like my skin is just getting more matte. <laughs> just pat that in. Okay, so for everyday use, I do not use a foundation, but I use a tinted moisturizer. If you're looking for something to that has coverage, this is not it. It literally has no coverage, but it kind of just like gives my whole face like a glow, which I really like. And this is the oil-free version because I do have oily skin and it has SPF 20. So I just take a little bit like this. That's not a little bit, that's actually a lot. <laughs> and I just apply it onto my skin. As you can see, it doesn't cover anything, but it just, I don't know how to explain it. It just gives my skin like that natural dewy glow without being oily. I actually don't mind when you can see like dark spots on my face because like I still have hyperpigmentation like right here, like around my jaw because I just had a breakout, but I kind of just embrace it. Like it's okay if I have hyperpigmentation and dark spots. People don't have to look perfect every single day. So the next thing I'm gonna do is concealer and this is the YSL Touche Eclat Radiant Touch. This is um, a concealer and I just lightly go under my eyes. I don't really have a problem with dark circles but putting concealer under my eyes just makes me look more awake and alive. I don't use any tools for every day because I want something that's like super quick, super easy. Boom! Okay, next I'm going to do brows and I like using the boy brow in black. So what I do is I go, I stroke upwards at the beginning of my brow and then I just continue stroking upward and out to the tail of my brow and it gives it like that really cool, like natural looking brow. Next, I'm going to do a little baby wing eyeliner. Today, I just wanna keep it a little bit more subtle. So I'm just gonna use the Glossier um, eyeliner and this is not even black. It's more like a charcoal gray type of color. And I just pull in my eye like this And I start drawing my cat eye. And it's okay for me to be like really messy right now because it's not a liquid liner and I don't really want sharp edges. I just want it to look really subtle, but still like define my eye, you know? Okay, and then what I do is I kind of smudge it with a MAC 263 brush. This isn't like a small angled brush and I just like start smudging or blending back into my eye and then like upwards and out for like a subtle cat eye. Then I'm gonna curl my lashes. So this is the Chanel Le Volume de Chanel, and this is the waterproof mascara. I like using waterproof mascaras just because it gets really oily, I guess, under my eyes, so I have a problem with raccoon eyes, so I really like this mascara. A makeup artist used this on me when I filmed a TV show, and I was like, girl, I love this. What is this? Because I went through the entire day, and I didn't have any black under my eyes, and I was like, this is amazing, so... I went out and got it. <laughs> and I really feel like it just makes my eyelashes stay curled as well throughout the entire day. I just feel like waterproof mascara is an oily girl's best friend. <laughs> 
So the next thing I'm going to do is blush, which is like one of my favorite parts. So I use the Glossier Cloud Paints and I'm using the colors Puff and Beam. And what I do usually is I take Beam and I apply it to like the outer part of my cheeks. And then I take Puff and I put it on the apples of my cheeks. And it just gives me like that really natural flush of color. And then for a really subtle highlight, I'm gonna use the Stila Heaven's Hue Highlighter in the color Kitten. And it's like a bouncy kind of like powder type of situation. And I just bounce my finger on that and then I just go on the high points of my cheeks like this. And it just gives me a subtle, subtle, subtle glow. But I'm still glowing though. I got bars, but I'm not a rapper. And then I also go down the bridge of my nose. The opposite of contouring. And if I'm feeling a little bit extra, I'll put some in the corner of my eyes as well. The inner corner. Ooh, I'm glowing. Okay, and for my lip color, I'm going in my makeup bag. I'm gonna grab the Sugar Poppy Tinted Lip Treatment by Fresh, and I'm in the, and then I got the, oh, it's the color Poppy. <laughs> but I like it because it has SPF 15, so it protects my lips from the sun as I go through my day. And it's a really, really pretty color. And it's really opaque, so I just like apply it to the bottom of my lip and I just go. And it almost gives my lips like that ombre effect because I only apply it to the bottom and then I kind of just do like that. And that's it. That is my everyday natural makeup routine. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to see more natural makeup tutorials. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace!